Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna take you on a tour of this beautiful 4,600 square foot home right after this intro. Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Here we talk all about Southern Utah, like living, working, and playing here, and all things real estate, like buying, selling, and investing in real estate right here in St. George. In today's video, we're gonna take you on a tour of this beautiful home. It is located in Stuckey Farms, and first we'd like to thank the builder for giving us an opportunity to show this incredible home. It is entered in the St. George Parade of Homes. It is built by Sullivan and Sons. And this property is 4,600 square feet. It is a six bedroom, six bathroom home, two stories and has room to park four vehicles. Go check it out. So this is the office with the ensuite. It's a cool touch that the office has exterior access. You're actually seeing so you people actually in your home. Use it as an office. And this, this particular property is actually currently for sale. I will list the link to the MLS listing in the description below this video. Like a and I'll get out of your way. Sweet. Fireplace is in season for today's weather. Yeah, thank God. Those super tall ceilings. Get all the lit up knobs. So this is pantry. Is this bath? Oh, this bath has exterior access, nice. so you could you could access that way you to can clean up from the pool without getting water everywhere. Exactly. But more about that later. This is the master, so this is the master suite. Check out the flooring. It's a cool uh, wood look-alike tile combination with some marble. I like it. And this bath has a window. Oh, a retro touch, huh? Um, does. More under cabinet lighting. Red is an interesting choice. I think it's probably like an RGB strip, it. so you could change it to whatever you want. It's pretty sweet. It opens right into the laundry. Laundry has a stackable. And this is, I guess, like a mudroom, second mudroom from yeah. the entrance. Let's go check out the exterior. You wanna go out through here? This is a giant, like a 12 person hot tub. Have like you a... have you ever seen an ad for the New Zealand deck sealer? You should look it up. 
I've rubbed my dick raw with other inferior products, but that won't happen with Schaefer's dick hardener. Because Schaefer's is committed to your dick, and the people at headquarters do nothing but think about dicks all day long. In fact, Schaefer's now has an entire new line of products specifically formulated just for your dick. There's Schaefer's dick paint. I'm just thinking, like, this is such a massive amount of deck space, I would have preferred to have more pool, you know? It has a big deck. <laughs> but you could, you could turn it into anything, really, but there's a massive hot tub with plenty of room to hang out around it. Yeah, that's true. You can invite people to hang out on your big deck. After all, summertime is all about spending time on your dick. I'll often have 20 to 30 people on my dick at once. That can really wear your dick out causing dick splinters and discoloration. But with Schaefer's dick sealant, my dick stays a nice golden brown colour. Who wouldn't want a golden dick? Entire neighbourhood can hang out on your deck. That's how you know you've got the right type of deck. Exactly. The you got to have a deck big enough to support a whole neighbourhood. Well, if everyone likes it. So this is a detached casita that has a retro style freezer, fridge combo, little kitchenette. And this one is set up more of like a one bedroom rather than a studio. And it has a loft. This is like a one, one bedroom apartment. Wonder, Perfect mother-in-law suite or Airbnb. I wonder if they could get the Airbnb zoning here because if, if, that's, if that's what this property is capable for, uh, to being, being used as an Airbnb, then it makes perfect sense. You have the hangout area, you have the outdoor space. Well, I mean, I guess it could be a long-term rental. I mean, it's got laundry in here. Yeah, that's true. This, this standalone casita is essentially like having to like an, like an ADU, like an accessory dwelling. They'd make more money with an Airbnb. For sure. The entry is a bit of a tight fit. This upstairs bed has an ensuite. is actually a Jack and Jill with not one, but three doors. So you have to get ready to lock three locks if you're ready to do your business or else you just you're race get, against the clock. You're gonna get some company. <laughs> <clears throat> well, to be fair, there's a, there's a door uh, on the water closet, so it's probably safer than I imagine. This direction trying to figure out the flow of things yeah it seems to be a little disjointed yeah. Yeah. this is every kid's dream yeah. the ball pit <laughs> I don't know if I would trust myself to test it looks like somebody has yeah well, it looks like this is supposed to be a climbing wall. They just uh, want to discourage climbing during the parade. Yeah, I mean, it's got mounts for anchors, and it's already been, you can, it's got been texturized for. But your yeah. safety is not an accident. I know, I read a bumper sticker somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> nice under cabinet lighting in this bathroom. Take a look at this ensuite. It has a pretty funky design to that tile. I like it. I like the the sparkles. Not the sparkles. What would you call those things? Uh, that texture looks like ceramic inside ceramic. Those light fixtures like. are really cool too. Yeah. And the floor and the back splash all match. Same with the shower. It's got that. Backlit shower shelf, just like we like. That's you awesome. see that? Yeah. That is sweet. It looks even better when it's smaller for some reason. It's gonna be my new pet peeve. 
Yeah. If it doesn't have a shower shelf. Yeah, it doesn't have a shower shelf. Yeah, it shower shelf, shelf I don't want it. Another <laughs> leopard, leopard print carpet in here. Michon would absolutely go nuts over it. Oh, I've got a friend that lives in desert color. She would absolutely go nuts over this too. <laughs> I have to text her and be like, hey, have you seen this house yet? It's kind of cool to have a bar counter back here. I guess if you're watching a movie, mixing some drinks. Yeah. And then to have a built-in bar over there as well. I feel like this would be the perfect bean bag set up for a theater. Yeah, 100%. It's not a super huge room, so you don't have like a ton of room for furniture. Upstairs. Thanks, so, right? This is the RV bay. RV bay plus some, so it's got. It says in the description of five cars. I feel like you could fit a lot more than five cars. Folks, what do you think about this home? What were your favorite parts? Drop us a comment below about something that impressed you, something that surprised you. By the way, this property is available and is currently listed on our MLS for 2.1 million. I will drop the link to the full MLS listing in the description below this video. If you'd like a personal private tour of this property outside of this crazy event, contact me. My contact information is all over this YouTube channel. Just shoot me a text, give me a call. If you haven't subscribed already, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.